Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to the channel. I have rated TikTok music production tips before, but today I wanted to take it to the next level. Meaning I'm gonna try and make a song, but I'm only allowed to use TikTok tutorials to do it. Surely nothing can go wrong. Start. Steal these chords. Calling all musicians, add your talent to these chord progressions. E minor 7, G. Oh, great. Starting to solve with like complex chord progression. All right. I will be suffering today. Okay, sure. You know what? Am I allowed to fix it, Chad? <laughs> no, I have to keep it to the TikTok. We're just gonna have an empty bar. Melody, we're gonna do a melody next, right? Okay. This is how you write a catchy melody. Okay. Step one. Or you could just say, screw the melody and be a Chad like me and make dubstep instead. Yo, Ash, uh, out here. Just like my brand new single, which is coming out real soon, all thanks to today's sponsor, DistroKid. With DistroKid, you can release your own music through all the streaming services available on the internet. And unlike labels that will buy tickets to your own show and then charge you the bill for it, you get full control over your masters, full control over the artwork, you could name it, like, Wooshy Woosh. And you can pre-save it really easily by using DistroKid's HyperFollow, which makes a pre-save link, but also links you to all the streaming services once your song goes live. And that's on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal. You get 7% off your first year if you use my VIP link down below. That way you don't have to use TikTok tutorials to make your next song. But we're gonna keep going, so I guess let's get back to this melody business. This is how you write a catchy melody. Okay. Step one, pick four notes and four notes only. So okay. let's say it's these four notes. Rhythm that you're gonna repeat. For example, let's say it's da, 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 da. Keep repeating that rhythm as much as necessary, but then sometimes add a slight variation. Da, 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 da. Here's what the example sounds like. <laughs> She's trying to meme. No, she's trying to meme. She's trying to meme. She has to be trying. Pick four notes and four notes only. This is gonna turn out so well. There, those are our four notes, okay? We're, we're making music. Oh, that chord progression is so good, Chad. Then pick a rhythm. Da, 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 da. But then sometimes add a slight variation. Da, 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 da. This makes no sense. The way they're explaining it. Hey, just, I'll do a variation then. We're making it work, chat. We're making it work. Okay, I'm just gonna repeat this. Oh, we got a banger on our hand. <laughs> Obviously, that's why. It's because it's, it's a fake out. Of course you wouldn't just end the progression here, right? And just keep it going like that. No, that would make too much sense. You have to do a, a random extra bar five head move. Actually, the four note thing is not a bad piece of advice. The problem is this is the chord progression that TikTok gave me. Look at this. This is one, two, three, four, five bars. That's just bonkers. That's bananas. I am so sorry you have to listen to this. Okay, let's put a kick in. Oldie but goodie. This is gonna give me punch. Opto smooth. What does he mean by that? What's opto smooth? I'm zooming in. I'm enhancing. Imagine looking at this on a phone. Kowalski analysis. You can't even see it. Wait, what is opto? Is that a setting on R comp? I thought I had R comp. I have H comp. Let's, let's use H comp. There we go. All right, waves plugging in. Smooth attack. attack is pretty quick. Okay, what does he mean by smooth attack? Is that less attack or more attack? Sure. Quick, um, I'll usually compress five to five to eight dB of compression. He's like, I'm trying to give advice, but actually I'm just trying to flex how much I know. So we want to hit around five to eight dB of compression. Is he implying that the gain reduction should be five to eight dB? So we should be hitting around here when we bring the threshold down. Oh, look at me go, guys! I'm a freaking pro. Do you hear that kick? That's knocking. At this stage of the song, I shouldn't be worrying about this, but we're following TikTok tutorials today. Got a little punch here, 124, uh, bringing out the beater at 2000. Why does he talk like that? Is that EQ after the compressor? So what's he got here? Big low cut, okay. 124 hertz, okay. And then 2000 to bring out that beater. Beater Griffin, 2000 hertz. What does that sound like?
Uh, Neutron 3. Neutron? My guy has every plugin. Yo, I got Neutron. He's looking at me go. All right, what's he putting on here? Yeah, I'm using just the transient shaper. I think this thing is incredible. Uh, check this out, all right? I'm gonna bypass this in and out. I mean, that's not a bad idea, though. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> what's his settings, though? Can't even see it. Medium? Dude, my guy's just making it louder. He thinks he's giving advice. He's just telling you to make shit louder. Bro, I'm gonna turn all of this off. I'm gonna show you. Well, look, look. I did the exact same thing he just did. It's not a bad EQ, I, I will say. It's subtle. But at the end of the day, he just makes it louder. Now I gotta use his kick chain though. Trying to stack chords like RL Grime or Linium, set, set the, the sky, sky bass. That's not necessarily like a sub bass. Grit bass. They don't show us how to make it, so I'm gonna have to. Uh... Oh, there we go. Like the actual chord. The chords. Think of these like the saws, right? Like... Chords. These beautiful chords that we have used. Just like a Lydium, boys. What else, guys? Super detuned, but just kind of just like the body of the sound. Then okay. you have another saw. That's my melody, right? I can't. I can't, guys. I can't keep doing this. Oh, it's like detuned, like freaking hyper dimension. Like that, right? Like a noise or something on there. Um, sounds like a sine wave as well, layered in. Chad, this is the one for sure. <sighs> Let's add a snare. This is still so bad. <laughs> ah, okay, what else? We have a little vocal chop. Oh, vocal synth. Okay, cool. Take that. I'm not even. I'm not even following what they're doing anymore. F it. I'm doing. I'm doing me. Damn it. Auto tune. I need you, please. <laughs> no, please. Why do you sound like that? Wombo. Combo. Yo, I made your laser, guys. Nah, that's minor laser. Let's just get rid of these. These are cursed. Oh boy. What is this one gonna be? How to make sexy future bass wobbles? Oh, future bass. Okay. Step one, lay down sexy chords. Those chords are... These beautiful chords that we have used. What are the comments saying? 18,000? Bro, you don't know how much I wanted to have this bouncy effect. Wow, I actually learned something new. Sound design is the best. Man, yo, people. I swear they're all NPCs. I'm trying to salvage this so much. Da, 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 da. Fuck. Stop it, Ableton. Oh, fuck this chord progression. Guys, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. Okay, let's make a build up and then we call it. This is what a song sounds like, chat, when you follow TikTok tutorials. Bro, we lost as soon as they freaking had that stupid chord progression. I hope you enjoyed my suffering and seeing how important chord progressions really are when it comes to your overall vibe of your song, especially if it's future bass or melodic dubstep. Speaking of those, I've got more videos on the way, so make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss them. Thank you so much to my patrons who keep this channel going. You literally pay me to make cursed creations like this. Wait, maybe that's not the best selling point. Either way, you can grab Serum presets there, project files. I've got more in-depth tutorials and yo look you're all going on the screen now that's amazing i love y'all anyway i'll see you on twitch next time i stream i don't have a schedule so join the discord do i have anything else for you